So, what is the electron configuration for nickel, whose atomic number is 28? So, the electron configuration of an atom or a molecule is the distribution of electrons in atomic or molecular orbitals. They don't all sit together. There's hierarchies of uh, orbitals. Um, so, an electron shell is the state, a set of allowed states that share the same principal quantum number. Uh, the number of electrons in any shell can be determined by the formula 2n squared, where n is the principal atomic number. So according to this formula, you can have two electrons in the first shell, eight in the second shell, and 18 in the third shell. Um, so the atomic subshells are S, P, D, and F. Um, I'll show you how they're ordered on the periodic table. I will show you that in a second here. So. Okay. So the atomic orbitals are divided by where they are in the periodic table. So uh, the section here is S, this one is D in the middle, P is on this side, and F is um, those extra metals at the end. So nickel is here. So it has 28 electrons. That's an important number to know. So nickel equals 28 electrons. Um, so we are going to start from hydrogen, naming all the orbitals until we end up with nickel. So I'm just going to write, it's usually written like this, with the element in brackets. Okay. So uh, you're going to do it by row. So this row here is 1s. Uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, so this is 2s. Moving over here, this is 3p or 2p, sorry. Then we're over here, so this is 3s. Following along, 3p. We're at 4s. And then we're at uh, 4d. Sorry. Okay. Write that down here. So now we have all the uh, subshells figured out. Uh, so now we just need to place in the 28 electrons. So the s orbital can hold two electrons, p can hold six, d can hold ten, and no more. So we're going to number in order until we end up with 28. So that's two here, four, six here gives us ten, 11, 12, another 6 is 18, 19, 20. Now, 4D can hold 10, but we only have 8 electrons left, so it just stops at 8. And that is uh, the electron configuration of nickel. Um, so it's good to just double check to make sure all your electrons are accounted for. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Um, but usually on a periodic table, like on the test or on an exam, um, they're not going to be labeled S, D, P, and F. So you're going to just have to remember the sections that are S, P, and D, and F.